probably going to be one of my shorter ones of these because the uh, I'm going to view the SVs that were submitted to the uh, zero G challenge number zero one three. Uh, let's see what was the uh, let's see the real quick over here I can review again what was the brief on that it was um, let's see. Vanilla Reforge uh, due date is March 10th. Uh, please label your submission, which it is, whether it's Vanilla Reforge. Um, so, um, unfortunately, one of the, the well, fortunately, there was when I dealt with one of them that wasn't marked. Uh, at least I, you know, not clearly marked to me. Uh, fortunate on the flip side, there was only a, a very limited number of submissions to this challenge. So it didn't take me a whole lot to figure out. And they had something unique about their vessel, uh, vessel that made it easy for me to pick out uh, whether it was reforged or vanilla uh, and stuff. So let's see, build a SV. The SV purpose is to act like a mini base of operations to use on the star plant to go to other planets to mine gold and Neil so you can build your starter uh, S, uh, CV or whatever you uh, your next step is. Because we all, well, I'd like to say we all play it differently. Um, I'd like to say that we have the freedom to pl each play our own way. Um, I probably get a little more upset when the uh, designers of the game have made some choices in the past that seem to pigeonhole us all into the same path. And kind of, But I like the freedom to play my way, not the way everybody else does. And I'm sure I'm not the only one who plays my way. Um, but yeah, it's just one of those things that... Uh, spawn level 12... Vanilla CPU tier three um, didn't. I don't think it's required to be tier three, but it basically, uh, you know, this is uh, your uh, CPU tier three VR Max uh, for Reforge. It's one basic and two improved. Uh, those are the extenders, which is equivalent of a tier three. Um, so uh, most have or must have warp. I think it's most have warp. I think uh, I'm. I read that as. Uh, uh, must have warp, but I think it's uh, most have warp. So I guess it's not, uh, by the spelling here, it's not required. But I think a lot of us probably, because uh, I said there's only three of us. So I'll have I haven't looked at everybody's submission, but the one when I uh, spawned it in and subscribed it to it on the workshop page is pretty obvious it had warp. So um, and mine has warp as well. Uh, suggested drone hatch, but it is not required, which I'm glad it wasn't required because mine's a little short and I couldn't quite get a drone hatch to work, so I didn't put one in. Uh, no bigger than size class 10, so there's a size limit on here. Thrusters must not be hidden, weight and volume plus CPU compliant. Uh, okay, so uh, as I said, there's only uh, there's only three entries this time. Um, which uh, we'll start with the two reforged ones. Uh, let's load that game. And while it's loading here, why don't I go cross my fingers that it says it's still streaming. I'm going to go this. Uh, th <coughs> Normally I've gone to the uh, uh, to the uh, uh, Discord page for Zero G, and then pulled the entries there first, and then I would go pull the ones from the uh, um, uh, the Imperion of official forms. There's a, a spot there. I, I know I've mentioned in the past uh, one of these that they have a spot that people can submit their own build challenges, and so the Zero G challenges have been submitted there as well. And quite often, there's uh, there's uh, there's sometimes there's uh, some duplication. People have submitted their entries in both places, uh, stuff that that's not a problem, uh, stuff. But uh, I you know will go through there because it's you know it's not uncommon that there'll be some entries in one place and not in the other. And so I'll try to go and get all the entries uh, for the uh, build challenge. And in this case, there wasn't, but there was only one entry over there. So we will start with the ST5 turn by Procyon Lotor and here 
copy and paste into the chat the uh, link to the page. Uh, when I uh, export this uh, to uh, uh, YouTube, I will put in the uh, comments these links. Uh, so, so we have, let's go look at the Procyon Lotor first. Okay. And so it was a max unlock level 12. We're unlock level 12. Um, set a most, uh, does it here? 25,000. Let's see. Um, does that mean, uh, okay. Well, I suppose I could do it uh, this way. Go devices and core. A basic and then two improved. Okay. So it looks like uh, stuff medium jet thrusters. Okay. You know, did say this is kind of as a mobile base. Uh, so it's not like we're going to go try, uh, you know, you know, of course, some of us have different things we do with our vessels, so, uh, so it wasn't like he said, oh, we're going to try to bust a POI. It's just a mobile base. So we have our constructor, fridge, we can do some of our med food and medical stuff with the constructor. Fridge, like this store pack. Oh, that's right. Forge. Do you actually get the uh, trauma station with the SV armor locker? So you can switch around your armor. To actually, put it on. Um, O2 station. Okay. And the thing is, when you talk about using an SB as a mobile base, one of the things that pops in my head is to, uh, let's see, we want the ST5 term. Cargo, there's 10,000 there. Mini fridge, 2,500 ammo. Again, we're not we're not busting the POI with this thing. This is a, okay, in the storage pack, two there. So, cargo... Uh, 10,000. So, again, uh, with a mobile base, what I'm thinking, you know, the stuff that you know, when he's talking about uh, uh, a mobile base going out there, mining some resources from other uh, worlds, that's what pops in my head is I want uh, respectable cargo if I'm using it as a mobile base. You know, that's kind of the, when you say uh, mini base, mobile base, the thought that pops in my head is I am probably not heading back to the world I started back, started off with this thing, or don't don't want to have the need to you know it's not an automatic oh my SV barely has any space uh, storage space I can go out there and get the stuff but if I'm gonna get anything serious I'm making multiple trips this is uh, you know when you say mini base the thought that pops in my head is uh, I'm going out there and I'm uh, not making multiple trips I'm just kind of doing a stuff so we got 10,000 storage got quite the thrust on this thing Actually, even though mine was built for vanilla, the, just seeing these medium thrusters here makes me think of some of the uh, uh, thrust. Uh, granted, he, uh, they're using it for um, your uh, horizontal, just kick up, uh, get up and go, punch it sort of th uh, thrust. Uh, mine's a little different. It's the vertical, but that has to do with the mis history of mine. Um, Kind of like in uh, what they did here, um, the stuff with the uh, they have this bracketing the thruster, and I suppose there's many ways you could have handled it, but basically it looks like they just go ahead and it's like okay, the thruster doesn't uh, creates these certain lines interacting with the hull, 
So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to draw those lines out. We're going to embrace, embrace it, make it part of the uh, design. That's what it, again I'm just guessing. And stuff. And so what we what we do here is we uh, push that back just a little bit and bring this this slant uh, back here, and it becomes uh, one with the thruster there. Uh, so the thruster, uh, the uh, the fact that it's drawing those lines with the thruster. Okay, we bring it back here. Uh, now we draw some lines uh, again with uh, what's going on here. We kind of uh, bring those lines in here, just radiate it down on this side. Um, just kind of this. In other words, you know, if I'm looking at this here, we're bringing it up here, but then we can take this line. And even though it gets broken up here with this little radiation effect going on, but then it breaks that brings that line right on back through, you know, the stuff. Granted, through the uh, association and stuff, you're gonna, you know, unconsciously we're gonna draw that line through uh, that one as well. But this, in this case, they actually bring it more uh, accentuated, drawing that line right on through, uh, down on through here, uh, and also that also breaks up this. Uh, this basically being a solid shape here. I'm just about to bring that line right on through. And we bring back and repeat uh, this, uh, this uh, with the thrusters back here. And in this case, we're not insetting a uh, uh, blocks uh, for the stuff. We're actually just going with two thrusters. Um, but since we had done this, uh, uh, this uh, I don't know if you'd call it a you know, kind of like your two, um, like your bun, you know, the two. Uh, two parts of your sandwich with the uh, thrust in the middle. But in this case, since we already got that going on over there, we basically uh, have our thruster sticking out of our buns <laughs> of our sandwich, essentially. Like a uh, nice good sub sandwich over here with uh, thrusters. Uh, I'm sure there's some more technical terms what's for what's being done there, but uh, that's uh, just kind of the... Uh, I like how the lines kind of continue through, go through that. Um, and, uh, you know, we can see some of this shaping. Uh, if you look here, uh, this here, um, this, uh, this nice uh, angle, straight, and this, uh, the uh, reverse angle, but a bit longer, you know, twice as long here. We kind of get a little bit, not exactly, but a little bit of that reverse here, going this going this direction connect down here and then it extends a little bit further down here uh, but it also you know uh, in this case it connects right into the belly of that here we get another we get a little line going here uh, dividing out uh, the stuff um, and this it looks like they're just using the black to break the, that up here uh, stuff nice little black line going down cutting it all the way just right on through and it looks not uh, uh, that black then it goes right into the glass here uh, stuff uh, really makes it look nice um, so, so you, you just kind of visually look at that and it uh, looks like it's continuing the uh, black stripe right around through right around on all the stuff oh and that's some thrusters down there oh, okay so even though we got a couple uh, of our medium jets for vertical, we have a couple more, uh, a few more thrusters there as well. Okay. And oh, does it uh, does it have warp? Well, let's take a look here. Okay. It might help if I. Uh, Turn this on. I'm not going to go warp anywhere, but let's so uh, okay. It looks like I'm seeing a Pentaxa tank. Devices. Let's go ahead and see. We got things organized here. Here, here we go. We got our jump drive. So we got warp. Well, let's go just go take it for a little spin. I mean. When I first started doing some of these videos, that was, you know, I was like, well, I really want to just take some of your entries, take them from our just a short little spin, get a fly them about a bit, and then I was going to make the video and share it. 
Francisco and enjoy myself a nice little spin with this thing. Uh, we're hitting 65% uh, on the, uh, well, let's go, let's try pushing it. Okay. Well, I hit 65% at the one point, but it uh, seemed to be hanging around more like in the 50s to 40s. <coughs> there we go. Okay, I suppose another question would be through my mind here is... Uh, we do have a bunch of generators. Fridge zero. I saw them. Oh, equipment. Okay. I'm guessing that's just a. Uh, they're as human as I am. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Made a category for the fridge, but the fridge ended up being categorized with the. Uh, the equipment. Now if I were putting it in a separate category for fridge, <coughs> it would be I'd be using one of these custom uh, power things and it would be uh, you know be like why is my fo food spoiling? Well I'd have it uh, in this device management I'd have the uh, it in its own category for in the, like this fridge and I'd have that uh, a custom power group assigned to it and so I'd be like well is my food spoiling? I click on there and I'm like oh it's off well, no wonder. As opposed to trying to find the fridge and uh, stuff, I could just quickly find it in that council, having assigned it to that group. That's what I typically do. So. And I mean, I also put things like a constructor in its own group, and that's just my habits. Smooth. Okay, they're all at one, 1.0 1 as far as the rotation sensitivity, so it's not like they've tuned it down. Okay. Oh, got a nice blue glow going on here. Is there... Oh, a blue light there. Uh, I'm tempted to look for. Is it just the blue light on the on the outside creating that effect? I don't. Part of me is inclined to guess that there might be a. Well, since I'm using God mode, anyways, and creative. Uh, there might be a blue light hidden in here somewhere. Oh no, there's a blue light. Oh, that's a flashing red light. That's well, that's. Maybe it is the blue lights from the outside creating the blue light uh, glow off the hull here. I mean, like that's a nice I'm liking that nice little sheen off of there. Either that or there's another blue light and I'm just totally missing it. Oh, we oh we have a blue light down here. Oh, another flashing red light. Very nice details I missed while the power was off. Okay. And with the uh, minigun turret up there, you get a uh, little point defense. Okay. Which, you know, when you think of a mobile base, is one of the things I'm probably looking for is the base to uh, have a little mini def uh, ability to defend itself. I can, uh, you know, walk around and stuff and not stress over my uh, 10,000 uh, storage that I'm collecting. Okay. This next one, this is the Koala. By Noob 70 or on their workshop page, I believe it's just simply Noob. Okay, let's get the link to that here. Let's look at the koala. Okay. Now, I 
on their workshop page. I, was it the workshop page or was it uh, uh, when they were submitting it? They listed it as uh, s starter type SV. Uh, let's see, we've got we got unlock level twelve. Uh, we've got titanium, neodymium, small optronic bridge. Let's go, let's uh, look at our devices core. Again, they're listing here the th uh, same uh, uh, one basic and two improved for the reforged. I got, uh, they got their jump drive. Got two retractable minigun turrets and one that's not. Okay. Now this actually has a uh, looks uh, really nice with them pulled in at the moment but uh, when people are questioning whether the uh, SV still has use in the game uh, let's see there's no I don't see a separate one for I guess we'll just turn them all on uh, stuff this is one of the things they added to uh, no in uh, this is the giveaway on this one that was I'm like I think that's reforged and I went and verified that this is uh, the, that device is only uh, uh, available in re Reforged for the SV Vanilla. That is not, uh, that's an HV only item. So I was like, when I saw that, I was like, oh, I'm pretty sure that's Reforged. Um, but uh, yeah, that was uh, uh, when they added mining to the SVs, because in Vanilla, you can still get the mining lasers for an SV, and they work planet side and stuff. And so when they did that, I'm like, well, well, then why would people do much HV mining? Uh, there, there are things about the HV, you know, you get the drills and stuff. But when I when you get to the the laser, you know, stuff I'm like that, they're, they're pretty good. And uh, I've actually done that. Uh, I have a SV miner, but then it just gives you our, our mobile base uh, a little more use, I guess, with that. You know, why uh, people, when they talk about uh, the drone hatch, it's usually the drone hatch is you go, um, you have your, your vehicle, you use the drone hatch, <coughs> and you stay inside the oxygenated, safe, warm, but not ro roasting, you know, you know, just the comfortable, safe environment of your vehicle, and you use the drone hatch to uh, take your uh, drone out there and you uh, use the dry drone to do the mining uh, and maybe some salvage stuff uh, from the uh, comfort of your your vehicle but uh, in this case you know if you've got the drills on the vehicle itself well then the drone hatch is becomes a little more mute point again we're not going to be busting a POI with this thing uh, they did, we're not we're these are our mobile bases not uh, POI busters lots of thrusters here going on uh, I'm not saying it's looking bad with that I mean especially I like the way they got uh, these thrusters right here I've seen many people do stuff like that uh, stuff and so they got this you know they're not hidden they're not covered they just have this uh, uh, basically a shield around here but uh, they're totally exposed got clean a line of uh, thrust uh, and exposure there and stuff and the same thing over here we got to, they're uh, enveloped inside this uh, uh, manifold of, of sorts uh, but uh, they've got a clean line out hmm Oh no no I'm confusing things I was for some reason I was thinking that there was actually more uh, re uh, reverse thrust than there was forward thrust uh, but uh, I was confusing these uh, side thrusters with uh, ones that would have been fo pointing forwards I was just me confusing myself so oh I like this uh, we don't get a nice you know so they're coming down here they're doing this uh, they're this uh, uh, 
cover shield they bring you some nice line down here and stuff and then bring it back up but we don't get a uh, we don't there's a lot of a lot of shapes that uh, don't exist because it's just it's just not practical to create every single possible iteration of the way these blocks can interact with each other uh, so it's just there is so many uh, intricate ways that you could possibly think to uh, have things meet each other so this this angle in here doesn't won't meet nicely with these uh, here so they uh, have an, uh, just a uh, one block gap uh, and I think that makes a nice actually transition uh, uh, stuff so it just kind of you, you could bring this nice line that continues up here uh, through you know th this little uh, uh, wall shape coming along there so it just kind of it kind of carries through there so it, you know carries nicely and then you just uh, at that point then you uh, bring these through here and it just kind of um, you know uh, I would say for imperfect uh, uh, you know, working with the shapes that we have available to us, uh, they may yeah, make it work nicely there. Uh, I love their ribbing uh, here. Now they uh, they've done something here a bit different with their mobile base. Uh, we can notice here that they are actually we are letting it sit right down on these blocks. Uh, these are uh, I believe these are half blocks, but if you can kind of see underneath here. Let's do God, uh, God mode here. You can see that it's actually resting right on the blocks of the uh, small vessel. Uh, but we're resting right on here on this platform. We have some landing gear here. Uh, even it out. Oh, I like this. They, uh, they let it come down here and then go back up and then come down again. Uh, so, so we get a... Uh, uh, a Maybe not on the width, but a little narrowing of the neck here uh, on the height. Um, this stuff. Let me get uh, uh, exposed warp drive right over here on this platform. And so their little mini ba uh, mini base has a feature that was not included in the brief, but uh, it's one of those things I'm like, oh, yeah, a, a place to park your, uh, uh, maybe your uh, basic HV, maybe it's a one that you go, um, I don't know, maybe it is your uh, your first uh, mini tank, or maybe it's uh, something for uh, salvage or mining or deforestation to convert the forest into uh, um, biofuel. Uh, or uh, to collect, you know, the wood for your plastics, uh, your carbon uh, materials, or for your munitions uh, stuff. Oh, so uh, we well, we got a exposed warp drive. We got uh, some exposed fuel tanks, but it gives a uh, uh, nice fuel tanks uh, a little bit out of the way. They're they're yes, they're exposed from this angle, but that doesn't mean they're completely exposed. Uh, we do have this uh, bit of a barricade there, uh, and this is a, a mini base. Again, we're not uh, we're probably not taking this thing into heavy combat. Um, and if it's uh, if it's using being used as a base, parked like this, you're going out with your HV. Uh, the then uh, threats. Uh, if you're talking about patrol vessels or something like that, they're coming from the air uh, stuff, so they're going to uh, hit the uh, the hull anyways first before hitting these fuel tanks um, so not so we actually get a, a nice little walk-in space here got to actually feel like uh, I'm in a, a little base uh, mm -hmm. we got our constructor I think that's gonna be a common theme uh, we got a harvest well we do have those drills up there on the front so we got our harvest controller 5,500 storage and we have over here is this a well that is that's another harvest coach uh, so we have a total of a uh, 11,000 uh, harvest uh, capacity 
which of course you can also uh, just throw other uh, uh, stuff right in there. We got our armor locker. Okay. Got a little extra storage for maybe some personal items. We got a fridge. We got our trauma station. Okay, so a fridge. Yeah. I'm thinking uh, I'm seeing some common themes uh, in our mini bases, some differences. Uh, stuff here, we actually have a little cabin, a little space to walk. Uh, stuff. Uh, I hadn't looked at it previously. I was almost beginning to think maybe it'd be a drone hatch uh, after I already having talked. It's kind of things when I was talking about, oh, we've got the drills on the uh, front. Having a drone hatch uh, becomes a little more mute when the vehicle itself can uh, do the mining. Uh, but uh, I guess in this case, there is no drone hatch. So none of us had a uh, went with the drone hatch, but it was not required. Okay. Uh, got some access to it. Yeah. Uh, walk up to our flight deck a little bit. I guess uh, the way it is, it just won't let me walk all the way forward, but uh, I'm guessing that has to do with the ceiling stuff. I just, uh, um, at least my situation stuff, my priority is being able to fly the thing, not necessarily. Oh, yeah, now it let me in, but now, and then it'll let me walk back here. But then when I try to walk back to that space, it's not going to let me walk back to it. But it'll let me get out of the cockpit, and yeah, then I can pa uh, pass through that space. Okay, that works. Okay, let's, uh, let's go take this for a little spin. Oh, I just realized I'm looking at the back ends of those spotlights. Hmm, I didn't stop time, did I? We're looking at flying around in the sunset. Doing a little lazy flying. Oh, let's see. Why don't I, I did the only other one I paid attention to the uh, power? I think I saw it spiking in at 68% there for a little bit. Let's see. Let's see if I can try to make it f hang around the 50s a bit. 63. I thought I saw 68, but maybe I was only uh, misseeing that as a 63 and just reading the f mentally f filling in the threes as eights or something. I don't know. Well, there's 65. remember I was going for this lazy Sunday drop oh I didn't go as far from the base as I, <laughs> I feared I had I was just doing a little lazy uh, lazy turns and stuff so we didn't think maybe I had wandered away from the base quite a bit but I guess I hadn't okay What did I do? What did I do? Uh, ooh, that was. I switched. Uh, oh, I switched views. Oh, that's what I must have done. I switched to an exterior view. Uh, and then it jumped me out there. Oh, look! Nice little uh, LCD work here for uh, Koala Microcarrier Derp Industrial. Industrial starter class. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. Pulling it right into the warp drive. Just taking, totally going with, and then embracing the uh, the pink on the warp drive. You really can't do a whole lot of it. And just doing some pink glow around. Just pull it right in embrace it but it also makes it look like it's a big intake uh, right into the uh, warp drive there 
and then doing some uh, recesses there with our glow texture. Mm -hmm. And then that we got our nice, uh, I know I posted this, spent some time on the blue over here, but now if we look here at the nice little touches of yellow here, uh, they didn't run it along the whole thing here. They just do a touch here, a uh, touch there, and then a little dash and dash, dash. Oh, it's, it looks very nice. Um, very, uh, oh, I love their use of the, uh, the stuff, of the, of the glow textures on here. Just, uh, just da little dashes in the right places. Um. Oh yeah, and this here in the cabin it works ends up working out nicely. For a moment there, I was thinking that, oh, I, I you know, did they? Because uh, in the capital vessels, you get uh, the uh, you get the different lights. SVs, you just get this little light bulb essentially. You, st you know, stick on the side of a of a block, uh, whereas at capital vessels and bases, you get the actual shaped uh, lights that either go in the angle, in this you know, got a few different uh, shapes for the center uh, stuff. You even have a light on a pole that you can potentially choose from. Uh, you know, kind of like it's a uh, 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 street light sort of thing. Well. I was thinking, uh, I saw this for a moment, I was thinking, oh, it's the angled ones, for, you know, like, did Reforge have this? And I come over here closer, I'm like, oh, no, 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 they just did a, uh, they just did one of the blocks, shapes, uh, stuff that it fill, fits into the angle there, and that you have your glow texture on that, and so, or does the SV actually in Reforged? You know, I haven't played with lights in Reforged in a while. Okay. Do you actually get? Oh, we do. Get, oh, we do get. Because I'm like, wait, there, there's the strip light, and then this actually. Okay, we have the continuation. Ah. So before we do get the other lights and their SV, that's kind of cool. But then again, this uh, it car they have the strip light there, and then they, this carries just carries through with it, and it looks nice. I like that. Okay. Okay. I'm also liking this pattern for the uh, deco, uh, deco work here. Uh, stuff, you know, that, and in this case, it works very nicely with the symmetry on each side. Um, but it uh, it uh, gives quite a nice look on the back there. Okay. And then this here just gives us this nice, uh, nice little cradle around this area where you would park your uh, HV. Okay. And I, I also like this, uh, the window. I do, uh, I do like the window here. And oh, we retracted the, uh, the stuff. Let's go. I didn't really take a look at. I was pretty sure I saw for a moment a glimpse of the, uh, the two retractable uh, turrets. Ah, here we are. There they are. Okay. Giving us a nice little uh, defense. Um, I do notice the difference in the defense for this one. The defense is going to be all forward and to the sides. Uh, the uh, And something up and to the back, maybe you can get it as well. But uh, you know there is, uh, in this case, the uh, the shape of the vessel itself. Um, granted, you you can't actually the if the these retractable turrets have been placed up there, it would totally break uh, the look of this here because um, you really can't place them cleanly on top of these wall shapes, uh, which is you know in some some respects. Uh, uh, one of the disadvantages of the fact that a bunch of these things act as full blocks, even if they're just a wall, 
uh, so so you can't can't get that nice clean merge of the turret on there. So it kind of it has to either be behind or uh, in front of uh, those walls. And uh, so it's just a uh, there are there are times that you, you just kind of see the limitations of the uh, build system we're dealing with. Um, it looks very nice though. It looks very nice, very clean, very nice. Um, and it, depending on your HV that you're parking back there, they yeah, while it's parked, it will its uh, turrets will be disabled. But you know, while you're driving around or doing stuff with the with the HV, you know, its own defenses if it's got any will probably serve you quite nicely and uh, again we're not we're not uh, we're not trying to bust POIs with this stuff um, so I do like uh, do like that okay well, well let's see I am going to uh, I'll go exit this game there is one more that was submitted and that was actually mine, and mine is for vanilla. So we'll go here, vanilla. For a moment there, I was debating seeing if I could get if mine uh, complied with the uh, reforged. And I know it's possible to convert mine for reforged because I was playing with it uh, with that possibility uh, a little bit ago in relation to something else. Uh, but it's. Uh, it's really not the same uh, as far as its cargo capacity and that stuff. Okay, so this, oh, uh, I suppose I should put uh, that it is uh, the Eagle by DP Burke 2, that's me. And I suppose I should throw a link on where the workshop. Uh, okay, okay. Now, the eagle, a tab back to the right screen here. Let's turn off those uh, spotlights, spotlights. I should have spotlights, there we go. So I don't s be staring in the bright light. Uh, the eagle here, it's, uh, it probably looked a well. It was rough. It was a rough draft, just gray, rough. Uh, I've actually had it for. Um, I'm not sure if it was since Alpha Nine. Um, it's got. It's this is not what it was in Alpha Nine. Now back then, we didn't have CPU, or at least not CPU as we know it. Um, and we didn't have mass and volume. We didn't have the logistics system. I'm not sure where did that come in. Okay, let's just say the original Eagle. <laughs> when I first uh, uh, tested around, played around with the concept with the the Eagle uh, here, it was back before logistics, back before uh, you know our container with container extensions. I mean, it it was the containers on it were just simple blocks. The medium jets at that time didn't have the massive thrust they do now. They were, to be honest, pathetic. Um, yeah, they had more thrust than the uh, small jets, but for their volume, it was kind of those things. You could put uh, four small jets in a cluster and you'd get uh, more thrust than you would the, from the medium jet. So the thrust, uh, for its volume, it was, you, you'd do better with the small jets back then. Uh, you, you just it was uh, you know it's kind of those things you could you could have put in the same space you could put more small jet you know, put a bunch of small jets the extra generator you might need for the small jets the extra fuel tank you'd probably need and you'd still come out out ahead back then so I, uh, I've been playing the game a little while not not from the beginning uh, around alpha six or so but it was so the initial draft of this uh, actually had uh, eight medium jets uh, pointed down for vertical uh, takeoff. 
which in the current uh, iteration of the game is a bit excessive. Let's see what the unlock I got on for this thing. Unlock 12. Looks like everybody hit unlock 12. Uh, some of us, we were hitting it here because... Uh, is it the j medium jet that had unlock 12? Or is it... Uh, let's see. SV... Unlock 12. Yep. Medium jet. Now, the uh, the other one, uh, I believe, was uh, unlock 12 as well. But it was not uh, the medium jet. I'd have to go look at Reforge more. See what item uh, on that might have been unlock 12. But that's... Uh, uh, different story, different uh, issue. Now the uh, eagle I'd <coughs> I had put together at that time was intentionally uh, was intended to be a uh, POI buster, um, but I was doing it as a heavy lift, uh, putting a bunch of cargo. And again, even though we didn't have the cargo volume thing going on, people were talking about uh, that it was going to be coming, it was going to be a feature and uh, that SVs didn't really have a whole lot of lift and you know they, you really you know it would really hose them over so I I built it on the idea to make you know something to demonstrate that an SV could have a good lift you know make a, a heavy lifter uh, and a compact size and uh, so the uh, eagle was based on that stuff well bringing it in here I'm like that much eight was excessive for this small thing I'm like way excessive the the four might be a bit a little excessive for the vertical takeoff but I wanted it to be true I wanted to incorporate some of that original design I wanted it to still echo through the eagle uh, as I re-envisioned it and entered it into this challenge so we got a bunch of our medium uh, thrusters uh, in the back, uh, we're just uh, using a uh, thruster L tier twos uh, for our uh, reverse thrust. Uh, this probably of these entries, um, I this is reduced from well, it's kind of reduced and increased. It's one of those things when I put the eagle on there, and when you talk about base defense, you want I'm thinking my head defends its uh, you know some you know something that defend itself from a uh, drones or something like that while I'm off wandering around or whatever, you know, I'm, I'm probably not going to be standing right in it all the time. You know, if I'm using it as a mini base, I might be running back to it to, uh, you know, re refill my O2 tanks on my suit uh, or dealing with uh, other situations as needed. Um, but, uh, yeah. Now the in this case, now mining lasers are too high level uh, for this challenge. They would have punted it, uh, would have exceeded the unlock level 12 max. So in this case, let's go ahead and turn on the four Gatling guns. So this, of our mini ba mini bases, is probably the m most armed, and this is probably why this uh, has the hardest time with uh, converting to uh, reforged is the CPU for uh, having six turrets and yep, and four Gatling guns. So as I said, you know, as I was talking about this, it's not uncommon for me to put the fridge in a separate group just so I can have a group, uh, device group uh, just to quickly identify if the fridge is on or not. Okay. So we'll go ahead and close those Gatling guns back up. Okay. Now mine, I can tell you that uh, a lot of my devices are accessible in some way from the outside or inside. You know, some are going to be from the outside, some are going to be from the inside. Uh, stuff. Let's go out of God mode so we can actually walk up the ramp. Got ourselves a nice little, uh, not quite the big open, uh, you know, even though it was a small, uh, you know, I would say not a monster CV or SV, you know, a small vessel SV, um, but you know, it had a good uh, open space. So it's you know, kind of a little more cozy here, but uh, got a couple of passenger seats. 
uh, common theme we were seeing. We've got fridges, armor locker. Now in vanilla, you don't uh, get the uh, trauma station or the medical station and stuff. Uh, unless they have changed that yeah, in vanilla, but as far as I know, that is still not... Uh, so we should have... A, oh yeah, we, we do have an O2 station. We have our O2 station. So, so we, we again, we have armor lockers, f mini fridges, uh, the uh, uh, stuff. And in this case, we got uh, 22,000 storage. I, I forgot down the koala. I, did, I looked at those two ore containers. I Bear with me. I'm probably going to go back there. Uh, curiosity gets me. I, I have to go back. I was thinking of it, and I didn't actually look. I wanted to see if there was other storage on the koala and stuff. Now, the, as I said, the ore storage, you can, you know, the harvest containers, you can stick other stuff in there. Oh, yeah, another common theme. We got our constructor. In my case, I put it in the ceiling because uh, I thought it worked uh, nicely with all the uh, stuff I had going on with the ceiling here. It also put it up out of the way. As I said, this thing's got, uh, what, uh, 22,000 storage. But it's got the, again, it's got... Uh, four vertical thrusters there, uh, medium thrusters, so it's uh, got plenty of uh, vertical takeoff. I uh, got a couple uh, ammo containers here. In fact, I think I got them distributed a third ammo container. thought I did. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is a, yeah, it's an ammo container back here. Ammo R for rear, in this case. And I'll Let's see. Go take ourselves. Uh, probably one of the more restricted views here, and the other stuff. The other ones gave us a little more open views as we're flying here. Mine was just a, uh, a more restricted view as I fly about. Of course, of, uh, of these mini bases, I admit. Uh, for their Granted, this one is built for vanilla, so for to take it for reforged, um, I'd have to. Y you'd have to have some advanced, uh, uh, some of the uh, advanced extenders on this to pull it off. Now there is a you know this is designed to be upgraded. Uh, stuff, but it's uh, based on the vanilla upgrades, uh, not on the reforged. Uh, I could probably show you that in a little bit before I uh, uh, and technically I have flown mine around before so it's not like some sort of stuff, but in this case uh, it gives you an idea um, and uh, you probably n if you well, you may not be able to see. I was reading off on those reforged ones how they the generators hitting. Right now, if you were to uh, if you can see it on the uh, playback, it, I'm hitting what only like six seven percent. But there's a reason mine only hits that because mine is built for certain upgrade. Okay, we got. Uh, let's go ahead and let's, uh, let's turn off the thrusters. Maybe. And we're going to go here, and I'm going to show you the upgrade uh, that I uh, outlined uh, or I planned for mine. Because if we look here, we've got some truss blocks here. Now, in vanilla, you can't just throw in uh, the advanced. Uh, in Reforge, you could just throw in some advanced uh, extenders, and that's uh, fine. In uh, vanilla, you're going to have to put in all four tier four extenders before you even get tier four effect. Now, in reforge, that just filling these in with a couple advanced uh, is not enough on this uh, stuff. I actually, what I had done when I was experimenting, I pulled out a couple, uh, uh, about four of the uh, uh, cargo extensions up here. Uh, so I'm losing about. Uh, let's see, about 500 of the cargo uh, cargo space to throw some uh, uh, extenders up there in addition to filling, pulling out these truss blocks and filling it. 
to upgrade this in vanilla. Okay, noisy. Okay. Very noisy. Okay, but in vanilla, I would have to actually have to pull out the tier 3 extenders in addition to these truss blocks and replace them all with all four uh, tier 4 ex uh, CV extenders. I know there are people that even in vanilla, you'll, and occasionally I've done it myself, where I will just add on the uh, the next uh, uh, tier of CPU extenders to bring the, the vessel up. In this case, uh, trying to maximize my cargo space, trying to keep it to my uh, uh, mostly to the original shape uh, of the uh, of the heavy lifter this originally was way back when. Um, so, and with it having plenty of vertical thrust to to lift cargo off the ground. I really try to, uh, you know, really preserve that 2200 uh, uh, SU container as much as I could to this thing. So in this case, I built it this way. Uh, part of my thinking is on this, uh, why not have they fall back to tier three? Because because of the way CPU efficiency works, um, you lose your tier four at uh, tier three, it's gonna be 0% uh, efficient anyways. It, it, it's like having to fall back to tier three. It's going to be non-functional either way. So, it, or, or or hardly functional if it even is. So I'm like, well, I didn't see much point. Just go ahead. If you're going to upgrade it, you pull out the tier threes, place them with tier fours, throw those in there. I get the tier fours. And what's the why a tier four upgrade on this thing? Well, I have my space for a shield. So, it can take a shield. And yes, this has a warp tank too. I could, uh, I could have showed you in the device menu like I was looking at the other two, but in this case, I happened to, it, it's my build, I knew where the warp tank was, or the warp drive uh, stuff. So I, I knew that the warp drive was over here, uh, stuff, so. So, yeah. And I realize it's not, I didn't really put two cockpits up here for uh, taking on POIs or anything like that. This is, uh, again, it's a, a reference to the original build of this thing. If I really was taking on uh, POIs, the original build, I think I might've had, uh, again, it was before a lot of changes. And one of the changes that has happened over the time is the restriction on number of small vehicle uh, cockpits. It used to be, you know, CVs, and uh, uh, so your capital vessel you can have as pretty much as many cockpits as you want, and uh, you know stuff. So you can have one facing forward, one's facing backwards. You can have one in the middle of your vessel, one at the front. You can uh, an upper and a lower. I mean. You can get carried away with the cockpits if you really want to. It used to be that you could have uh, whatever number of cockpits you wanted, essentially with your small vessels as well, your hover vessels and your small vessels. Uh, but then at some point when they, uh, after they did the CPU system, and uh, I'm not sure what all was involved in why they reduced it to a limit of two. Um, so at that one point in the original design, you would I would have had another cockpit back here uh, and that would have been your combat cockpit, you know, that wasn't actually in the front of the vessel. Uh, but I'm leaving the two up here because that's the way the front of the vessel was originally. Kind of like you had your, uh, it's a, a working small vessel. You have your pilot, co-pilot sort of thing. And I thought that, that was appropriate to keep it that way. And just let these go ahead and be passenger seats. And by not doing a cockpit back here, it... Uh, I well, it made it easier to keep my container, uh, keep the seating here because I was doing a cockpit here. I have to uh, uh, the arrangement of the uh, well, I wouldn't have been able to use symmetry and cheat that way, and uh, I also would have had to think about uh, uh, getting in and out of the cockpit, what sort of uh, clearance, 
uh, airtight, you know, how am I handling the ventilation and airtights and stuff. Granted, it's probably a pretty easy conversion, but I like having to have a couple passenger seats here. Uh, if I was to use this with my uh, children playing Imperion or something like that, it would uh, be a convenient way to pick up and travel as a uh, group uh, for a mini base of sorts. And I figured having a decent cargo capacity on this thing, and if I had the option to throw on a shield, you know, let's say I have, I, maybe I have my capital vessel already, um, then I could, you know, let's say I go to some world and it's like, I really don't want to fly my uh, capital vessel from world to world. I'm just going to this world to get a little uh, uh, Dacosium or a little uh, Aerostrum or gold or whatever and I just you know maybe I depending on the situation I just pop in the SV and take a journey with that uh, and not risk my entire capital vessel on uh, little ventures and yeah. so two of us probably well, the one doesn't. The one uh, they didn't even have a uh, walk-in cabin. I actually do have a walk-in cabin, but I, as I said, uh, the uh, um, earlier before I started, my uh, I, I couldn't get the drone hatch to work in here. Yes, you could pull out another. I before I did this 2200 uh, uh, capacity uh, container before I got caught up and really tried to preserve it. I was, uh, well, this was still getting roughed in. Uh, I had uh, used that extra block of clearance up here, hadn't put these stuff in here, and I was trying to spawn my drone, and I just couldn't get my drone hatch to work. So in that case, I just scrapped it. Uh, I wasn't, uh, as I said, I, this is uh, this is a vessel I've had for, uh, for a bit of while uh, that I just hadn't uh, polished up and finished. And so I wanted to preserve some of what it originally was. And no. But uh, yeah, that was my thinking. And if, if Vanilla had the, what the Reforge is calling the trauma station, or the, uh, and Vanilla might make called the medic station, if it had that for the SV, I probably would have, uh, I wouldn't be surprised. I'd probably have one less passenger seat and have a medic station and something else worked up. I you know, would have just given up the symmetry and gone with it. Or found a space you know, in, in where some of these containers are, something like that I would sacrifice some space and put a uh, trauma station there just like the others did for a mobile ba you know, a mini mobile base would have re really rounded this out nicely but afraid vanilla doesn't that doesn't uh, come with vanilla so but yeah you, armor lockers fridges that would seem to be the uh, consistent across it we all did modest uh, storage uh, stuff but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go Palk back at this Reforge creative. The koala. I forgot to see if there was additional storage on that thing. Really want to go see. Is there more storage? I forgot to poke and look. Come on, load it, load it, please, please. There's not many structures in this game. Just this base and two small vessels. And this is the koala. Let's see. Let's take a look at the koala input, output, fuel, 235, miscellaneous storage, 235, food and medical. That's probably your fridge, guns and ammo, 235, 
ammunition controller 2000. We got a little bit more storage for ammo, but you're probably getting, you're probably picking uh, at least for me. A good chances are I'm just uh, throwing a, a fair bit of the uh, 15 millimeter uh, ammo in there for the Gatling guns, but mostly for the uh, sentry guns, uh, be uh, to uh, defend myself. Granted, I I do admit I'm probably throwing some of my personal ammo in there as well, just simply because uh, like oh, I don't need actually uh, you know probably. 1,000, 1,500 or something like that, be, you know, I'd probably be feeling good because I'm probably, unless I'm checking my personal ammo on a regular basis, I'd pr probably get a good idea how the ammo's holding out, you know, how the turrets are using it up, uh, defending uh, the uh, my mini base and myself uh, stuff. So I'd, uh, I wouldn't be surprised. I'd probably be using some of that for my personal ammo, you know, my shotgun ammo, my... Uh, Rifle, you know, uh, pistol, any you know, so any of the stuff. Things I might not be throwing in there is things that take up a little more space, like uh, rockets or anything like that. But uh, my my uh, laser rifle, other things that I might be like playing with. I admit I'd be throwing that right in there in the ammo. So yeah. Okay, so we're looking at 11,000 ammo or 11,000 uh, storage, another 2,000 in ammo storage uh, stuff, but you know, respectable, uh, very, uh, very respectable storage, and a couple other miscellaneous uh, storage uh, uh, for personal items, uh, stuff like that. Um, uh, a little, sounds like a little fuel reserve, you know, a little idea of being uh, reserving some fuel in a, uh, a in a box, so you have some fuel reserves. Uh, here, what was it? it was uh, 10,000 uh, your primary container uh, stuff? So yeah. Okay. So we all we all even though it wasn't in the requirements have X amount of storage or stuff. It was just to make a mini base, but it looks like we all all three of us chose at least 10,000 storage. Uh, so starting off at the 10,000 and going up. Uh, so we all I guess we all treated the mini base. Uh, is let's have sufficient storage that we're not just uh, constantly running back to another storage facility uh, stuff that it, this uh, mini base uh, for an SV for a mini base has uh, respectable you know um, yeah I know they can uh, they uh, small vessel storage can go up to 32,000 uh, but we're probably at that point then we're probably pushing a, uh, a tier uh, a uh, tier four in vanilla, or in this case, in before throwing a bunch of uh, your four to five advanced uh, uh, extenders on there. Mm -hmm. So the Kola and the ST five turn. Well, enjoy. I enjoyed uh, myself here. And I know I probably rambled a little bit more with mine, but I, in that case, I, I happen to know some of the history of that. Whereas I may not know the history of that, I just admire like the blue, uh, the blue lighting on this, uh, the, uh, the little uh, bits of uh, you know how they uh, their use of some of the uh, lighting on theirs, as far as the glow textures, uh, just you know the, the that and, and just like those little dashes, uh, taking advantage of the uh, uh, the shape. Um, in this case, you know, as they're bu uh, building this here, the fact that this uh, to create this smooth line going on here using those wall, the angled walls that they use the, the filling shape, which gives them a nice little uh, little sliver that they can then uh, make their dashes with the, uh, the one particular glow texture. Um, and uh, you know, you know, take advantage of the shape to create uh, some of the, uh, the lighting effects they have going on. So, okay. Well, I've rambled enough. Have a good day. Enjoy. 
and I'll hopefully have this up to YouTube in the not too distant future.